There are many stories of players who rose up the high school rankings over the course of their four years. Players turning from no names to five stars, guys who are somewhat in the low end of the rankings that moved up to McDonald's All-American range. But Markel Fultz's story is one that we never heard of. One that his high school coach called a once in a career type situation. Fultz was on the JV team for his first two years of high school, and in a matter of a year, he was a consensus five-star prospect with a number of high major college offers. So how exactly does that come to happen? What's going on guys? Bucket Media back with another video, and today we are talking about how Markel Fultz went from a sophomore on the JV team to the number one pick in the NBA draft in just three years. It is definitely something that not enough people talk about despite how his NBA career panned out. If you enjoy this video, please, please subscribe and like the video. It truly supports me and helps push this channel forward. Also, leave a comment on anything related to this topic. With that being said, let's dive straight into the video. Yo, YBH. With the breakout from being a JV player to five-star prospect happening in just a matter of one year, the process to him becoming a high-level player was years in the making. Markel started playing basketball when he was three years old and grew up in Maryland. He could be spotted at local parks watching older guys play. As he grew up, he knew he wanted to play this game and started committing himself to working day in and day out. He was taught how to play the game the right way and gained his skills from his mentor and trainer, Keith Williams. When, when it, it became, became time to choose a high school, Fultz chose a local national powerhouse, DeMath the Catholic, which held multiple NBA alumni. Entering high school, Fultz had some green areas in his game. He had a great feel for the game and a nice handle, but there was one major knock on him, and that was his size. He was 5'7 and very skinny, so coaches thought he could not compete at the varsity level, but he was very lanky and wiry, and he had a lot of potential to grow into a big frame that he has now. As one of his high school coaches put it, his arms are down his feet. He's got those gigantic hands, big feet, so you can tell he's going to grow. Heading into his sophomore year, Fultz grew two more inches and felt confident in his abilities to play on the varsity team. And so he tried out, but he did not make the team. You may think this is because underclassmen typically don't make the varsity team, but that year, five sophomores and a freshman made that same DeMatha Catholic varsity team. One of those sophomores was 5'8", so the height had nothing to do with it. As you probably know, Markel took this very, very personal and dominated at the JV level, but while doing this was working out every day, preparing to prove his coach wrong for his junior year. Markel said he was actually thankful that he got to play JV because if he was on varsity, he would not have had as much time to train and get better and would also be boxed into one role. So he would not have learned how to be as versatile and play multiple positions, which he said helped him tremendously going forward. In Markel's summer heading into his junior year, he went completely unnoticed, but kept working on his game and slowly started to grow, gain weight, and put all those pieces together in his game. When junior year hit, most sophomores made the transition from JV to varsity, but for Markel, he got an even bigger role than most. Due to his hard work and spurting to six foot three, he earned himself a starting spot on the varsity team. Although he made the varsity team, he still wasn't running the show yet and played in more of an off-ball role and would occasionally play point guard. He produced and helped his team to earn a 33 and four record while averaging over 16 points per game. At this point, Ice had started to point at Fultz's direction and he had some D1 interest, but his five-star status came during that summer, entering his senior year, where he played on the Under Armour AAU circuit for the DC Blue Devils. With his performances after a few sessions, Markel instantly became a five-star recruit over the course of just a few months and only lived up to that hype going forward. He was invited to numerous events, including the Elite 24, sponsored by Under Armour, NBPA Top 100, Team USA Minicamp, and the Under Armour All-American Select Camp. He dominated in every single event and even led the Team USA U18 team to a gold medal while securing the MVP. With the summer wrapping up, Markel was a consensus top 10 five-star recruit across the boards and held over 30 high major Division I offers and was in line for an enormous senior season. Although the fame and all the recognition came at Markel so quickly, he did not waste any time in choosing a college. On August 21st, 2015, Markel Fultz committed to the University of Washington and funny enough is that a Washington assistant coach 
actually happened to see him before he got the Washington job during his sophomore year and said if this kid ends up growing and building his frame, he can be an NBA all-star. It's crazy how everything comes full circle. What a coincidence. But Markel had a tremendous senior year, leading his team to a 33-5 record while being named to the WCAC All-Conference team and being selected as a McDonald's All-American and Jordan Brand Classic participant. Heading into his freshman year at Washington, Markel was expected to be one of the best incoming freshman college basketball players in the entire country. And with that, came a consensus top 10 projection on all NBA mock drafts for his upcoming class. Also during that summer, Markel had fully grown into his body, standing at 6'4", 200 pounds with a 6'9 wingspan and enormous feet and hands. But at that same draft class, guys like Thomas Bryant, Harry Giles, and Ivan Rabb were projected to be lottery picks just like Fultz, but all three didn't end up getting selected. So that lottery projection was not set in stone and he had to prove himself. Fultz knew this and he more than backed up his status as a projected lottery pick, averaging 23, 6 and 6 on great efficiency. Fultz also showcased his improvement from high school to college of his pull-up jumper and ability to absorb contact on drives. But besides for his numbers, scouts raved about his size and wingspan. They said he had the perfect size for an NBA guard, along with amazing athleticism and ability to rise up for posters at any point on a drive. Combined with Fultz's intangibles, he also had a nice skill set with his playmaking, handle, and ability to drive to the basket and finish in a multitude of ways, along with his three-point shot which was developing. The hype was so real that there were not many cons to taking him. The only real con was that his team won nine games, but you could not ignore the talent. Markel showed out in a multitude of primetime games against schools like Gonzaga, Arizona, USC, Oregon, Stanford, and UCLA, who had a point guard projected in the lottery, Alonzo Ball. Fultz was even compared to guys like Chris Paul, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Markel locked himself as a top three pick in every projected mock track and had it most considering him as the projected number one pick. Some even labeled him as a can't miss prospect. Teams were raving about Markel so much that the Philadelphia 76ers traded up from the number three pick to the number one pick to lock in their chances of taking Fultz with that first pick, but also gave up multiple future first round draft picks. So during the 2017 NBA draft, Markel Fultz was selected with the first pick by the 76ers. As we all know, Markel Fultz's NBA career did not pan out as well as we thought due to injuries with his shoulder and ACL, plus a disconnection with the 76ers organization. Nevertheless, Markel still has a chance to prove himself and be a very impactful player in the NBA, and has shown he can put up good numbers in this league. I just think that his best role would be on another team who needs a point guard like the Heat, Knicks, Lakers, and more instead of being on a losing Magic team loaded with young guards and likely drafting another one in 2023. But I am definitely looking forward to how Markel's career will pan out. Markel Fultz's story to where he is today is one of a kind. It's safe to say that no basketball player has ever gone through two years of JV to being a number one pick. And regardless of how his career is panning out, one thing you can't take away from him is how he beat the odds and is making millions of dollars today from where he was. From being doubted on and slept on to breaking out over the course of just a year. Although in no time he went from unranked to undeniable, it was years in the making. Working behind closed doors so when the lights were brightest, he was prepared. It goes to show you how much hard work must be put in and to continue to trust the process for whatever you want to do because the timing may not always go how you want it to, but everything will always work out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please smash that like button and subscribe. It would really mean the world to me if we could get some more subscribers that enjoy basketball content like this so we can keep on growing this channel and building it forward. Also, share this video with a friend and leave a comment if you enjoy videos like this where I break down cool NBA come up stories and comment who I should do next or if you have any video suggestions in general. As always, leave suggestions as to what I could have done better and how I can improve the videos. I hope to see you guys on the next video and have a blessed day. Peace.